Hey guys, so last time we um, showed how to run a panel on GeneMarker, and this time I'm going to show you how to adjust the standards on GeneMarker. So you've opened your project file, or you already had it open, and you go up to uh, you go up here to the top uh, where it says size calibration. So it's a small box, looks like a regression line of some sort, and you click on that. Um, what it'll open is it'll open all of your spectra files um, and you can sort them by sample name or you can sort them by score just by clicking either sample name or score. So score, basically what score is doing is the computer is guessing um, how accurate it has been at labeling your standards. So um, right now I'm looking at a particular sample, happens to be a blank, and uh, the standard I'm using uh, is uh, is one that's specific to um, where I got all my genotyping done. So the standard, the actual peaks you will see in your standard will not necessarily be the same. Um, so a good first step for you to, to, to do is um, to make sure you know where all of the peaks in your standard should be. So for me, I know that there should be a peak at 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120 and so on, but there should also be a peak at 114, there should be one at 214, there should be one at 250, 314, 414, and 514. Um, everything else is increments of 20 all the way up to 600. So um, you notice I've already done it a few times. I can zoom in and zoom out on particular areas of the standard by creating a little box and dragging it, um, dragging it to the level of resolution I want. So if I only wanted to look at 20, 40, and 60, I would drag the box so that only 20, 40, and 60 were contained in it. Then I would let go of my mouse, and that's the resolution I would get to. If I wanted to just scroll at that same resolution and take a look at 80 and 100 upstream here, I would right click and drag uh, my mouse like that. So that's how I would go navigate back and forth at the same resolution. Let's say I wanted to get a different resolution. I could zoom back out by dragging a little box halfway out of the um, of uh, this of this rectangle here. Um, right? So I you know zoomed in and I zoomed back out by dragging half of my box out, if that makes sense. Um, so something I'm noticing right away, and this is, this may be something you want to uh, practice a lot, uh, and it will get easier with experience, is I can tell that it has mislabeled my 20. Um, and it actually, <laughs> the program itself has a pretty good idea that it is mislabeled 20, um, because it also recognizes that there is pull-up. So what happens with the pull-up is there are a bunch of other dies, in addition to um, the particular fluorescent label that the standard is labeled with, um, there are other fluorescent labels on your particular markers, and if there is a really strong signal, it can actually drag um, signal up from some of your other uh, uh, fluorescents, uh, fluorescent tags, right? So here is an example where, let's if we looked at all of the um, different fluorescencies at once, you would see that there's tons going on here, right? There, uh, There's pull up from other uh, fluorescent colors, right? So let's hide those again and look only at the standard. <clears throat> the awesome thing is that GeneMarker, at least uh, more recent versions of GeneMarker, do a really good job of guessing where there is pull up. So if you see a peak and there's like this little red line under it, then you know it might not necessarily be real. So here's what I would do in this kind of situation, is I would holding the control button on my keyboard click, left click, on um, the peak that's labeled as 20, and just drag it over to where I think it actually should be. And what you'll notice is that it changed the score over here. Um, so it went from a 98 to a 97. This brings up a really important point. Even if your scores say that they're 98s, they might actually not be accurate and that will affect your scoring downstream. I learned this the very, very hard way. Please do not make the same mistake I made. Um, so look at every single one of your spectra. It can get very, very tedious, but that's okay. Um, just pace yourself, I guess, is my, my other recommendation. Again, we have pull up here, looking at this example, uh, and there's a peak that I think should be 20 over here. 